okay. Today I'm just gonna do a little custom figure figure overview kind of thing. Just all the custom figures I made. So over the little past week. So if you watched my um, Brick Warriors o unboxing and review thing, you would see that I got a, the Royal Knight pack, which was missing a part. And right now the person is Thrash. He's sending me the hammer pick that was missing. So from the Royal Knight pack, um, let's see. This is the figure I made right there, and he just he has a little leg things on armor, jousting helmet, and a shield. And then also, um, from, with some tiny tactical I got from Brick Arsenal, I just made this like EOD kind of guy. Um, he has an olive green Brick Arms helmet, backpack. Um, if you guys want to know how to get that, how to put the backpack on, um, I will make a tutorial if you guys want me to make that. And just one small complaint with the Tiny Tactical, I think. It just makes the figure too tall, if you ask me. Um, like, here's a normal figure. Okay, and then here's this guy. Just a little bit taller. I know he has a helmet on and such, and he's not completely stood down. But, yeah, I guess that's okay. And how this backpack connects is there's a little magnet. I kind of messed up with my super glue, okay? This, this is my first time. But, see, there's a little magnet in the backpack that you can glue on. And there's a magnet also that comes with the backpack. And then you can just, like, snap it on there. It's real easy to take off, see? Boop, 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 boop. Yep. And I also use the dino attack torsos. Which I personally kind of like. And I, I got them at Brick Fair. got two, actually. And... These are just some Russian soldiers I made for my upcoming mock. Um, yeah, these guys came from the Lord of the Rings packs, and I think that's a pretty decent army builder. I mean, it comes with a horse, which is very useful for a military World War II kind of theme. And it comes with these torsos, which are good for the spring slash summer outfits for Russian soldiers, which was the main um, Blitzkrieg attack, the first attack on Russia it was during the spring and summer. And then the Russian winter, you can just use hoth torsos, I guess. Well, I try not to use decals a lot. I I'm not very good at decals, so that's why I either buy printed figures or just use Lego torsos. And then you can also use the wizard's torso inside that pack to make a German. You just need to steal them from brick arms. Yeah. So, that's it. If you're wondering why, I actually like the hair on this guy, but if you're wondering why this guy's bald, I am getting more Frados from Lord of the Rings to make, um, more of these Russians from Frodo's Cooking Corner, and I'm waiting until Brick Arms releases his, um, it just flew off my head right now, but it's the Russian, like, fur hat thing that the Russian soldiers used a lot, and, yeah, um, that's what I'm waiting for, and I'm also using those Endor gloves that comes inside the Endor battle pack. Oh, I forgot to get something. Just one second. So, these are also my other Russians I made. Um, they, they use the old indie torsos. Um, I have two of them right now. I, I actually have three, but the other one I don't know where I put it. Uh, 
I'm making them my like Russian officers currently. Um, he has a PPSH and yeah, see. <laughs> oh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Um, comment down in the comment bar if you guys want to see more of my custom figures that I make. I'm making. Uh, I'm currently working on some Star Wars customs and um, some more modern combat guys. And oh, and stay tuned for my also my next custom figure uh, for um, brick warriors. So goodbye.